Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us via the Internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us today. Today's Mass intentions are for our country, the United States of America. Give peace, O oh Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, today we celebrate the Independence Day. We always say the 4th of July. We say thank you, Lord, for the gifts of independence and for the gifts of freedom. We pray for our country, but also we thank all those people who fight for freedom to make this country to be the way it is today. They sacrificed their life, but they were united and they put God first. And let us continue to enjoy this gift of independence, but to continue also to bring peace and justice all over the world. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of good will. Will. We, we praise you, you we, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you. we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King O oh God, God Almighty Christ. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father of all nations and ages, we recall the day when our country claimed its place among the family of nations for what has been achieved. We give you thanks for the work that still remains. We ask you help. And as you have called us for many peoples to be one nation, grant that under your providence, our country may share your blessings with all the peoples on the earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. As dawn was breaking, the angels urged Lot on, saying, On your way, take with you your wife and your two daughters who are here or you will be swept away in the punishment of Sodom. When he hesitated, the men, by the Lord's mercy, seized his hand and the hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them to safety outside the city. As soon as they had been brought outside, he was told, flee for your life. Don't look back or stop anywhere on the plain. Get off to the hills at once or you will be swept away. Oh, no, my Lord, Lot replied. You have already brought, you have already thought enough of your servant to do me great kindness of intervening to save my life. But I cannot flee to the hills to keep the disaster from overtaking me, and so I shall die. Look at this town ahead is near enough to escape to, and it's only a small place. 
Let me flee there. It's a small place, is it not, that my life may be saved? Well then, he replied, I will also grant you the favor you now ask. I will not overthrow the town you speak of. Hurry, escape there. I cannot do anything until you arrive there. That is why the town is called Zor. The sun was just rising over the earth as Lot arrived in Zor. At the same time, the Lord rained down sulfurous fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of heaven. He overthrew those cities and the whole plain, together with the inhabitants of the cities and the produce of the soil. But Lot's wife looked back, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. Early the next morning, Abraham went to the place where he had stood in the Lord's presence. As he looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah and the whole region of the plain, he saw dense smoke over the land rising like fumes from a furnace. Thus it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he was mindful of Abraham by sending Lot away from the upheaval by which God overthrew the cities where Lot had been living. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. O Lord, your mercy is before my eyes. O Lord, your mercy is more than mine. Search me, O Lord, and try me. Test my soul and my heart. For your mercy is before my eyes, and I walk in your truth. Well, my Lord, your mercy is before my eyes. Gather not my soul with those of sinners, nor with men of blood in my life. On their hands are crimes, and their right hands are full of bribes. But I walk in integrity, redeem me, and have mercy on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the assemblies, I will bless the Lord. O Lord, may you bless me with favor and mercy. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Friends, this morning when I saw you, before I start this Mass, I say thank you for putting this day in your schedule and to come and join me to celebrate the 4th of July to say thank you, Lord, for the gift of independence. Freedom is everything. Remember Adam and Eve. They had full freedom. But when they went against God's will, they lost freedom. Freedom is everything. And I was asking myself that uh, those who wrote the Constitution of the United States of America they were people of faith. And they were really people who were ready to unite this country. And they knew what does it mean to have freedom. And also I was going through 
the constitution of the United Republic of Tanzania. And then I just went through, I came to realize that those people also who wrote uh, this, uh, that constitution, they were really people of faith. And they were determined to make unity as the key and freedom for everyone. And in the first clause of the United, uh, the, 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 the United of Tanzania, it says that uh, the people of the United Republic of Tanzania have no faith, have no religion. Or the government of the United States have no religion. But the people of Tanzania, they have their own religion. That means each one has something special to offer in his or her own religion. Today we are here, not just uh, accidental, no, because we see what does it mean for us to say thank you, Lord, for the gift of independence. Thank you, Lord, for allowing those people who put their energy and sacrifice and the majority they were ready to fight for this country and now we experience the way it is. And we are praying for those who died for the sake of this country. We are here to make it this day really an important day, not only for the government, not only politically, not only as a nation, but also as Christians that we pray so that God may continue to guide this country, to unite this country, to bring all people together, to understand those values which the Constitution is talking about, to continue to recognize that leaders have to follow the Constitution and they have to acknowledge that we are people of God. God first and the rest will follow. This needs uh, the grace of God. And that's why we are here to say thank you, Lord. So let us continue to be united together, to pray not only for this country, but for the whole world. I was asking myself, there are other countries, they have freedom, but freedom by words, not in the real sense of freedom. What is happening in Ukraine? They have lost their freedom. What is happening even in Su Sudan? They have lost their freedom. But what does it mean? So to have freedom, it makes a big change. Because it gives you an opportunity you go to offer the, the, the mass freely. Now in Sudan, you cannot do that. People are hiding because they have lost their freedom. Ukraine, what is happening? They have no freedom. So as we are gathered today, let us also remember those people who have lost their freedom simply because of war, or because of the leadership, they have gone a different way instead of saving the people for the common good. They are looking for their own gratification and not for the common good and for their people in their nations. Let us pray for that. And God always will guide us. And as we hear in the gospel today, Jesus, as human being, he was tired. He was asleep. And what happened? The winds came, and all they were shaken. And the disciples, they have lost their control. Now what happened? They were frightened. And they went to Jesus and said, Jesus, we are dying. 
and he's saying, you guys, you don't even recognize. I'm here. But what happened when you are frightened? What happened when you are overpowered by fear? You don't even recognize that you can defend yourself by doing something. But what happened? They went straight to Jesus. Let us be like those people. When we overcome fear, anything in our lives, there is someone who can give us life. Jesus is always with us. Let us go straight to him because he knows us with ups and downs. Even at the moments of our loss of our faith, he said, do not be afraid. I'm here. Come forward and I will take care of you. As we celebrate today the Independence Day, let us pray for all the challenges we have in this country. Let us pray so that Jesus can, share, can show us the way to deal with these issues, but in a positive way. Amen. Please stand. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. And we thank you for all the people in this country. Give them courage always to put you first and the rest will follow. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the true gift of freedom, our eternal salvation given to us by Christ's death and resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the blessings we are afforded uh, because we live in the United States of America, especially our freedom to live out our Catholic faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our military who risk their lives to provide us the freedom we enjoy, may they serve with pride, honor, and a love for God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who live in a country where freedom is not a daily blessing, may they be aware of the unconditional love of God and his grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of all those who will be celebrating the July 4th holiday, may they stay out of harm's way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those facing storms in their own lives, may their relationship with Christ allow them to, we to, we to weather the storm with faith and trust, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth and work of human hands you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine and work of human hands you become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Accept, Lord God, these gifts we bring to this altar, and having taught us through the wisdom of the gospel, lead us to full justice and lasting peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He spoke to us a message of peace and taught us to live as brothers and sisters. His message took form in the vision of our founding fathers as they fashioned a nation where we might live as one. His message lives on, on in our midst as one task for today and a promise for tomorrow. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we are claimed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, cup we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have held out worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
With you, O oh Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Let us pray. By showing us in this Eucharist, O oh Lord, a glimpse of the unity and joy of your people in heaven, deepen our unity and intensify our joy that all who believe in you may work together to build the city of lasting peace through Christ our Lord. Today we have a special blessing and I would like to say thank you for coming but now bow your heads for the special blessing. May God the Father who has called us to be one human family fill your hearts with deep longing for peace and harmony. May the Son of God who came to share our life and make us children of the one Father enable you to grow in wisdom and grace before God and the human family. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit who is the bond of love between the Father and the Son unite in love all here present. May he be the bond of love among you, our nation and all peoples. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.